Summary of Catch-22 by Joseph Heller Catch-22 is a tragicomic novel about a U.S. Army Air Force captain named Yasserian who tries to get out of flying any more combat flights. At the end of World War II, the story takes place on Pianosa, a small island off the coast of Italy not far from Rome. Catch-22 is told in pieces, which means that events are often sketched out of order and will be filled in as other stories go on. At the beginning of the book, a guy named Tapman comes to see Yasserian, who is in the hospital with a fake liver disease. Most of the officers make the priest feel uncomfortable, but Yasserian is kind to him and asks him to come back again. The narrator then introduces a wide range of characters, such as Orr, Yasserian's strange tentmate and handyman, Clevenger, a Harvard-educated man whose plane later disappears into thin air, Havermeyer, who loves flying dangerous missions, McWatt, a daredevil who constantly buzzes the camp with his plane, Nately, the son of a rich businessman who is in love with a Roman prost Yasserian asks the group's doctor, Doc Danica, if he can be stopped from flying because he is crazy. By saying no, Danica brings up one of the book's themes, if Yasserian is smart enough to ask to be grounded, he is smart enough to fly. Only crazy people who want to fly are also mad enough to be stuck on the ground. We call this a catch-22. Colonel Cathcart, who is in charge of the group, keeps making the troops do more missions before they can go home. Yasserian thinks this is wrong, but Cathcart and Korn, who works for him, don't care. Korn just wants to get Cathcart's job, and Cathcart wants to replace Dreidel and Peckham, who are in charge of the Italian effort but are at odds with each other. Dreidel is mostly worried about his woman, and Peckham doesn't care what gets bombed as long as the bombs fall in an interesting bomb pattern for documentary photos. Cathcart sends the men to Bologna on a dangerous task. In this mission, Yasserian's plane almost gets shot down by the enemy, and he runs away to Rome, where he meets a woman named Luciana and spends one night with her. The book starts to get more serious at this point. Soldiers start getting killed or going missing more often. Yasserian's other friend, Dunbar, is disappeared by the military leaders because he complained about bombing runs that weren't necessary. Orr's plane is broken, so he has to crash land it in the Mediterranean Sea and float away on a raft. McWatt buzzes the camp again and accidentally kills Kid Samson. In response, he crashes his plane into a rock. On the same trip, Nately, Havermeyer, and another friend named Dobbs all die. In the meantime, the chaplain has been fighting for Yasserian, who is now his friend, to get the pilots who have done enough flights to go home. Cathcart, Korn, and other people in charge tell the priest to go away. Officials from the government who are looking into the group for alleged letter forgeries pick the chaplain as their main suspect. He is tortured and threatened with jail time, but he is later set free. Even though the chaplain's faith is put to the test throughout the story, he decides in the end that he does believe in God and that the only way to help the troops he serves is to stand up to Cathcart, Korn, and other higher-ups. Over the course of the book, Yasserian also slowly changes his mind. At first, he is happy to just avoid doing his own work whenever he can. But as his friends die, Yasserian starts to think that Cathcart is being unfair by making him do more missions, especially since the war is almost over and many tasks are no longer needed for the military. Yasserian says he won't fly again after his last trip to Rome, which has been destroyed by war. Cathcart and Korn give him two choices, he can go to court-martial, which would put him in jail, or he can make a deal that lets him go home. The only catch to the deal is that Yasserian has to act like he likes his senior officers. Yasserian is tempted by this deal, but the chaplain tells him in a subtle way that it would be unfair to his people. So, Yasserian finds a way out of his catch-22, he won't fly anymore and won't be a lackey for his senior officers. He decides to run away to Sweden, where he thinks or lives now, to wait until the war is over. Yasserian runs out the door at the end of the book and heads toward the neutral ground. About the author. Joseph Heller was born in Brooklyn to Jewish parents in 1922. 
At age 19, he joined the U.S. Army Air Force and flew 60 flights during World War II, many of which were not dangerous, and became the inspiration for the milk runs in Catch-22. Heller went to school at the University of Southern California, New York University, Columbia, and Oxford as a Fulbright Fellow. He briefly taught English literature and worked in the magazine business. Heller started writing Catch-22 in 1953 and finished it in 1961. The book came out in 1961. It didn't become popular right away, but when it came out in print, it quickly became a favorite among young people. In 1970, a movie based on the book came out, and by that time, Heller was already well known. Heller wrote a lot of other books, and some of them did well, but none of them were as famous as Catch-22. Towards the end of his life, he taught at City College of New York and other colleges. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.